What is up, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? My name is Naomi. Welcome to House of Miscellanea. Today, I have an unboxing of a vintage kit from Diamond Art Club. Now, why am I opening a vintage kit from Diamond Art Club that is all the way from back in 2019? Well, I love this piece. You are going to love this piece. And I'm trying to decide if this is one that I want to uh, kit up and work on for may coming up and it is very fitting you'll see why this piece is called tears of venus from diamond art club let me just get into this box now she is a little box so i can actually fit into frame um i am just stoked about the good weather and i really really just wanted to bring something spring into the just kind of crap weather that we've been on and off having we've been getting some rain we've got a really gloomy day today so unboxing this kit it should really make my day i'm just struggling over here trying to get the box open don't mind me um going over the box it you can't really tell that it's a vintage one because it does have the uh, pink and the round diamonds thing this is you know even though it's a vintage box there are some things on the outside of the box that no longer exist on boxes for diamond art club but you can still scan that to save 10 percent gotta love that all right so let's see what we've got i'm sure it's got an ancient toolkit there we go. Oh, you know, I don't remember having a lot of these things when when Diamond Art Club first, uh, you know, came into being. But it does have the teeny tiny little toolkit. Let's get into the toolkit contents really quick. We have pretty basic, guys. Holy basic. Oh, well, we've got uh, bags. Some bags. Gotta love that. We have some heart-shaped wax. And if you are hoping to use the wax, please make sure that you peel back the plastic covering on the wax or you'll never get into it. There's a little film on it. I'm even having troubles. Look at that. Well, not that one, I guess. There we go. You just peel back the plastic and then you can poke to your heart's delight. We got a pen and a squishy and one four placer from Diamond Art Club. That was pretty much it. And this little teeny tiny little tray they have definitely made some upgrades since 2019, that's for sure. Um, we also have, I, I just, I kind of don't want to show you the stickers because it's going to give away the art, but you know what? We're going to do it anyways. We have our little sticker here for Tears of Venus. Uh, she is absolutely lovely. And in fact, probably already saw the art because you clicked into the video. But you have a little sticker. You can use this for the side of your box if you'd like to. The top of your storage container. You can put it in your journal, whatever you like to do. It has the name of the piece, the artist that did it, and, you know, some specs on the bottom. Uh, also have a sticker sheet, which includes a picture, again, of a bigger picture of the painting. Some information about the painting. You could put a start and end date on this. Again, this could go into your journal. And then information on the bottom. Looks like we have 35 colors. That's barely anything these days. That's nothing. And then it looks like ecru. That must be the color ecru, like the actual color. Um, and it looks like any numbers under the number 150, not including 150, so 149 and down, are going to be ABs or Aurora Borealis diamonds. Um, I will get into more of what those look like, but it looks like we're going to have two ABs with this kit plus ECRU, which I don't think they even put it on the kits that way anymore. But we have our canvas with the Diamond Art Club logo on it with the dust cover here. And let's get into it. I'm not used to seeing the sticker sheet until I've opened up the canvas that was on the outside. So um, it looks to me as though the canvas itself still has the very plush, lovely tarpaulin. It still has poked and surged edges. We will get more into that canvas. This is our pamphlet. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. This is vintage, you guys. Like, I've not seen anything that looks like this in a minute. We have a thank you for your purchase from Angie, the founder of Diamond Art Club. 
We have uh, tips and tricks on there to prevent clinging with dryer sheets using the checkerboard method, multiplicer tool, working in color blocking sections. You got a how it works. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's so funny. And then 10% off your purchase with thank you 10. That is still a good code. Um, I believe that. Yeah, they don't even have social medias really too much like down here. They have some social media information, but yeah, this is very, but it still comes with the lifetime warranty for any missing diamonds or if your canvas, look at this little tiny bag of colors. <laughs> this is nothing. That is nothing at all. All right. I'm going to go ahead and unroll the canvas because I know that's what I came here to see. We're going to go backwards with it first because it has been rolled up in here since 2019. And just like any of their canvases with the lay flat technology, if I left this out unrolled and laying flat for a few minutes, it would it would un unroll itself and lay flat. But I'm impatient, so if you roll it backwards, it will work the same as that. All right, you guys ready to see it? Oh, she's, she's little. Look at that. Oh, she is lovely. I like that there's color blocking going on in there. This one, I believe, would work up really fast. Looks like something that a person could just zip through in a couple afternoons, honestly. Well, maybe not a couple afternoons, but um, let's go over the canvas. We still have our uh, logo at the top. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. We have a schematic down the side, and it has some information also on here about the artwork. So down the side, you have your legend that tells you what your colors are, the numbers, etc. Down here on the bottom, we have social media information where you can post that. Visit them on Facebook and Instagram. Oh, now this says right on it, larger paintings are preferred for best clarity. Some uh, smaller paintings cannot be as detailed. Now, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. There we go. So... I'm glad that they acknowledge that even back in 2019 because that's very true. I think a lot of people were buying these little these little bitty pieces thinking that they were going to look amazing and they didn't. Now, I don't know if that code bigger is better for 15% off still works. Try it at your own risk. I might try it, who knows. And then of course the guarantee on the bottom and we have another legend down the side over here. But I feel like she is really, really beautiful. I don't think I really need to do too much of a flyover for her because, I mean, you can kind of see what's going on, right? I mean, pretty easy to see. But let's get into these colors. I want to see what we get with her. Sorry if you don't like the sound of crinkling plastic. I'm trying to figure out where the opening actually is so I don't make as much, but there we go. There it is. Um, I mean, 35 colors. That's that's nothing that'll kit up like immediately all right and then for those I don't know yeah it seems like in this one it's the same where Diamond Art Club they put their their drills together by size of the bag not by like number order or anything like that so in case you were wondering there is a rhyme and reason but it's by bag size so we have 334 3024 318 Two bags of that. And this Ecru, that's the special, but it's not really special. So we have one, two bags of that. 648, 939. So any of the black that you see um, might not actually be black. It's going to be like dark blue. We have 3778, 356, 754, 803, 310. Little bag of 310. 666. I love that color of red. You guys, it's just vibrant, beautiful. It's reading a little orange in this light, but 414, 321, also a nice red, and 322. The next one is 317. There we go. 312, 815, 758, 823, 498. Yeah, it's trying to get the in the background. 814, 3830. Oh, here's our first AB. Just a white AB 141. Let me show you a little. Yeah. Beautiful. Next, 413, 
3801, 961, 743, 550, 355, 742, 3799, 3350, 3371, and our next AB is 132. And it's just a nice orange AB. And that's all our diamonds, you guys. That's it. That is it, and that's all. Um, let's see if we can figure out where our specialty diamonds are going to be on this canvas. Now, there is a ton, a ton, a ton of white in here, obviously, and the red. So I'm surprised there's not a red AB in here. That is something that I feel like you could absolutely do on your own to kind of bling up this piece. And I might do, who knows, or even some yellow inside of those flowers, which let's see, we are looking for the number one and the number two. So all of these like lines that are in it, um, not all of them. So like this here is not, but that big swoop there, um, that little squiggle in the corner up there. That one um, right here, this little squiggly stuff here, that is all the white AB. And then number one is this 132. That is in the middle of all of these flowers. Oh, look at that. Look at me knowing stuff. So kind of reads as yellow on the rendering, but looks like it's going to be more of an orange. So nothing for the flowers or her lips. I think there would be some really good opportunities for coloring in her lips, even just a, a shine of red on her lips and in these flowers, I think. Um, it looks like the letter T is very prevalent. I don't know. Sorry about that. I'm putting my finger back down. The letter T is very prevalent throughout this piece. So I feel like even, um, and like here on her lips, so even doing a, a replacement of the letter T would work. Um, I think that, you know, there are some really amazing opportunities. And if you have, like me, a ton of leftover rounds, squares, you name it, um, there's a lot of opportunity in here. So yeah, definitely going to check that out. And then let's see, I'm going to bring you a little bit closer down here. Okay, it is really lovely. I like these flowers here. I love her face. Just the very serene expression on her face got me. And like I said, I'm really looking to bring a little bit of spring into my life, you know? And so these flowers just surrounding her, she looks like she's enjoying being out in the nice weather and I want to enjoy being out in the nice weather. Um, I think even closer up, you can really get a picture of what these flowers are going to look like when they're completed. I think Diamond Art Club, even back in 2019, did an amazing job of just rendering a gorgeous piece. It's very clear. You can see exactly where everything is going to be and what it's going to look like when it's done. I mean, they, they've been outdoing themselves, which shows you, even five years ago, why they are a Goliath in this market. They, they have really, from the beginning, paid close attention. Now, this is the old plastic on this canvas, so it is pretty thin, but that glue, I mean, that glue is sticky. Five years later, still sticky. It's going to work up really beautifully. I, I really love these poppies. The poppy flowers are just fantastic. I mean, try that again. I would consider this to be like either a regular sized or a snack sized piece, honestly, for me, just because of the size of the stuff that I've been working on recently. But I mean, she is something that will work up, I feel like, pretty quickly and, you know, gorgeous. Lots of bling up opportunities, glow up opportunities for this piece, too. So, sorry you can't get your hands on this archive piece, but I think that it'll be really lovely when it's finished. Um, I, I, I have just no words for how beautiful that this piece is. So, glad that five years from, you know, five years ago they made this piece so I could enjoy it now. <laughs> 
All right, that said, you guys, thank you so much for uh, sticking around with me and checking out Tears of Venus. If you enjoyed this, please uh, pop a like down below. Comment if you uh, if you think that this has held up over the last five years. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more diamond painting content from me. All right, you guys, thank you so much as ever. I hope that it is a beautiful morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are in this great, big, beautiful world. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.